everything about the way we live, communicate and experience the world has changed over the last few centuries. But when it comes to the arts, has modernity made us break too drastically from tradition? Is there an ongoing tension between the two? Or in this postmodern world, are they too intertwined to tell apart? In a country like Turkey and especially in Istanbul, it's impossible to ignore these issues. The city by the Bosphorus is often referred to as a bridge between the East and the West, the past and the future, and the traditional and the contemporary. But is it really as easy as that? Doesn't that metaphor simplify a rather complex picture? After the collapse of the Ottoman Empire in the early 20th century, many ties to the past were severed and a new republic was founded on an aggressive agenda of westernization. Western-style art forms such as operas, novels and classical music were endorsed by the state. while traditional arts like calligraphy, marbling and Alaturka music were discouraged. Alaturka music was banned from radio broadcasts in the 1930s and for 40 years no one was even allowed to teach it. Traditional artists slowly shifted away from their professions, hoping to find new forms of artistic expression, like calligrapher Nejmettin Okyay, who became a master rose gardener. Even so, while one art scene was shrinking, another was growing. With modern productions of cinema, ballet and opera, Turkey became one of the brightest contemporary arts and culture players in the region. Starting in the 1980s, when centre-right governments came to power, the vice grip on traditional arts began to loosen. But it is still a hot debate in Turkey. Turkey uzun yıllar sanat, kültür ve tarih deyince sadece belli bir dönemi, belli bir kalıbı esas alan kısır ve dar bir bakış açısının esiri olmuştur. Hat, Ebru, Tezin, Tesip gibi İslam sanatları da yok sayılmıştır. And it's this tension between contemporary and traditional arts that is the inspiration behind a brand new cultural event in Turkey. It is the first time an art event, a biennial, brings together contemporary and traditional arts in Turkey. Yeditepe Biennial believes that both sides have a lot to learn from each other. Contemporary art can learn from the aesthetic value of the traditional arts, whereas traditional arts can make use of the dynamic tone of contemporary arts. There was a cleavage for years and years between both. We think it's time to break the taboos and ask the necessary questions. The biennial is spread out among 21 venues in Istanbul's historical peninsula. Mosques, madrasas, hammams and museums are displaying thousands of works, the bulk of them reflecting the traditional art forms. But this contemporary piece in Beyazıt Square stands out. A mirrored cube meant to reflect society. And right behind the square is the historical Beyazıt Hammam, where one particular art tradition has taken over. These are water marbling Ebru works by me and my students. It is the art of creating colourful patterns by sprinkling colour pigments on a pan of oily water and then transforming this pattern to paper. A few decades ago, the state didn't even recognise us as artists. Once I remember, I met the US consulate. He loved my work. This was 20 years ago. He said he wanted to introduce me to the Minister of Culture back in the day. I felt so embarrassed by the fact that an American person would introduce me to my minister. I had to lie, saying I knew him already. It's not the first time I've heard an artist speak like this. In my experience, many creators of traditional art feel resentful after years of neglect. 
Do you think this tension between contemporary and traditional arts will have fruitful results in the future for Turkish art scene? Yes, I do. These two fields are not rivals, they are neighbors. There is the traditional side to Turkey, then there is the innovative modern side to it. I see it as a puzzle. One piece means nothing alone, but when you put them together, it makes a whole. This is how Turkey works, and it is no different for the art scene. Whether or not this Yeditepe Biennial can affect change within Turkey's art scene remains to be seen. And so too does the possibility of all those puzzle pieces coming together, so that one day the old and the new, the past and the present can come together, whether it be in politics, in society or in art. Elif Bereketli TRT World, Istanbul.